As the state continues to recover from the deadly winter storm, the fallout continues over the power outages that left many Houstonians without heat in freezing temperatures. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Lisa Hernandez. The Public Utility Commission of Texas wrapped up their meeting today and did decide on several issues. KPRC Chief Brittany Jeffers joins us live. Uh, Brittany, good morning. What does this mean for the everyday consumer here? a lot to sort through here. First of all, that meeting wrapped up in about 30 minutes or so, and they detoured from their typical format in that they didn't take any public comments. Instead, they were taking questions from the public, and some of those questions had to do with billing concerns. But I will say there were about two big items that we can take away uh, from this agenda discussion here today that will impact consumers. It's my view that we still keep the disconnect, no disconnect order in place. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were gonna, but because the reps can get charged late fees, we were gonna start allowing them to pass on late fees and also charge them. So this was some of the discussion here today. And what does this mean? Well, the Public Utilities Commission voted to keep the no disconnect order in place, but electric and water companies can now start charging late fees. So that is something that consumers should be prepared for. Secondly, PUC representatives say they will likely not reprice the energy market like some senators and independent market monitors had suggested. Now, this could potentially translate into higher fees at some point because energy companies will have to pass on the economic hit that they took on during the storm. Now, as we reported during the Senate committee meeting yesterday, we learned from the Potomac Letter, an independent firm that the PUC uses, that the Texas energy market, their high prices were left in place for 32 hours longer than needed, which did cause an additional $16 billion in charges. Now, we also want to mention that this is just sort of the first of two big meetings that are taking place today. The second is with ERCOT. That's scheduled for 1 o'clock this afternoon, and it will be the ERCOT Technical Advisory Committee. They say uh, that they are going to, quote, review the cold weather event. So, of course, we will be keeping an eye on that and keep you updated as well. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.